Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Miss Carol. Just getting things set up here. Bear with me just a moment. Hello, Miss Michelle. Glad you could join us. All right, I think we're up and running. <clears throat> Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Shelley Anderson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Tonight, we are going to be having a play with two bundles. Tonight, we're going to do a twofer. We're going to be using the Sweet Gingerbread Bundle, which is my bundle of the week this month, or this week. And that is found on page... And get it here. I did mark it. Page 20. That is right here. And when I saw this at first, I, I'll be honest, I was underwhelmed, but it has grown to be one of my favorite bundles. Um, I am showcasing this bundle this week. I think there's eight or nine projects that are being showcased this week. Um, just to show the versatility of this bundle, it is a um, stamp and die bundle, photopolymer. And tonight I am going to, we are going to make one project and I'm going to show you a second project with this one. And for my second project tonight, we are going to be using the Sweet Candy Cane Bundle. And that's part of the Sweetest Christmas Suite. And that's on page 8, 9, and 10 of the catalog. And let me find it here. Here we go. Here's the bundle here. And I'll be honest, when I purchased this bundle, I purchased it for this die. I should show you the die up close and personal. Because I thought this bundle would be so versatile using this die. You could do so much with just this die alone. That's the original reason that I purchased it. But I've learned there's so much more to that bundle. All right. So you see what we're going to be doing. Or playing with, I should say. And I have to turn my speaker off because it's making noise on me. So, we are going to get started, and we are going to be using, let's start with the Sweet Christmas, or sorry, Sweet Candy Canes, and I have some bits and pieces here, and this is going to be our technique card for today. I just need to grab my Stamparatus. And I've showed this tip before, but I like, when I make my cards to get them even, I like to put my card right tight into the corner. I can do this on my paper trimmer or my Stamparatus. And this way I always, always get nice, even cards. And it just takes a second, as you can tell. And my card base today is um, Garden Green. Now for the inside, I have a piece of basic white. Surprise! And I'm just going to get my glue going here. And we'll pop that on the inside like so alrighty now we are going to take this piece of DSP this is the same DSP that's in that suite and I'm going to use the polka dot side and 
I'm going to pop that right down on the front of this card, just like so. All right, now we're going to set that aside. And we're going to get to the technique portion of this um, video. We are going to bring in some good old packing tape. And you're probably thinking, has she lost her marbles? Well, perhaps. Perhaps. Um, I am going to actually take these two candy canes that are in the DSP and I'm going to separate them. And then I am going to take the packing tape and cover them. There, I've effectively got it glued to my tabletop. Let me find the end. That's always the hardest for me. There we go, right here. All right, now this one, same thing. Cover it with packing tape and rub it into place. All right. Now I am going to pull off the excess here. And you could these will cut out with the dies. And I could do that. But to be honest, by the time you get all the tape out of your way, it's just easier to cut them with scissors. So that's what I'm going to do. And you will notice that our candy canes are now super, super shiny. And you can see it took me all of about 2.3 seconds to put the tape on the DSP. Just trimming this off here a little bit. There you go. Can you see how super shiny that is? Looks like a nice glossy candy cane. How easy is that? <laughs> Don't use my teeth. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Sorry, Michelle, I didn't mean, didn't mean to make you cringe. <laughs> All right, now we're just going to continue with the second one. Oops. This is a very simple image to cut out. And it's even better that it comes right out of the DSP. You don't even have to stamp it. And in the DSP there's two full sheets of these candy canes. And there's our second super, super shiny candy cane. Making this a super, super easy card. And we all like easy, right? All right, I have used my layering circles dies and I have cut out a piece of white glitter paper and a red circle. And I'm just going to layer those two together. And I'm going to be very generous with the glue because this is going on the glimmer paper. And it's going to take a second for that to 
adhere and just give them that a good back rub. And we will grab, oh, I don't think we need two sheets. We will grab some dimensionals and pop those on the back side, maybe. They cooperate. And I'm going to be generous with those as well. And we'll put one more in the middle. Alright, let's get rid of all these little papers. And oh heavens, it's crooked. That's not so good. Let's try that again. That looks better. All right, so I am going to pop this right up here at the top, like so. And then I'm going to grab some dimensionals to put on the back of our candy canes. And once again, I'm going to be generous because this is DSP. So, oh, I see a little piece of tape that I didn't get cut off of this one. There we go. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. We'll do the same with this one. Start with the green one. We're going to put that kind of across like that, maybe down a little bit, maybe down a little bit. There we go. Then we'll remove the backs from this one. And we'll put this one across like so. You see all that gorgeous shine? Hey Janet, glad you could join us. We're having some fun with packing tape tonight. All right, so I pre-stamped the greeting from the Sweet Candy Canes called Merry and Bright. And I did that in garden green as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dimensionals right on here. And then I'll put my greeting on top of it. I think that'll work better. And bam. Now I think we should have a little glitzy bow. What do you think? So I've got the metallic edge ribbon and this has silver metallic edge. So let's see if I can get us a nice looking bow perhaps to go on here and then we'll grab some ribbon scissors maybe there we go um, where do I want that I don't know. Maybe uh, yeah, up there. All right, let's grab some glue dots, and I have a ton of paper pumpkin glue dots. So I'm going to put one right there. Oh, 
and stick that in place. And yes, I can't not do it. You know me, I'm a little OCD when it comes to the tails. So I am going to pop a glue dot right there so that tail looks nicer. All right, now we need a little more bling. A little more bling, not those. Those are a little too... I am going to find just some basic rhinestones. And you'll add a little more bling. Just say, hey, I'm a special card. So, three of those should finish off that little card. And we will take a close-up look at this shiny. Check out how that packing tape made that so shiny. And then you've got the shine from the gems, the shine from the glimmer paper, and then that silver edged bow. Now I have another card I want to show you that I made using the same technique with the um, packing tape on the candy canes. This one I made my circles bigger and I changed it up and I let the sparkle be on the front instead of the back. And this time I used the red rhinestones and some of the iridescent trim. So there are those two cards using the packing tape technique. What do you think of that one? Super easy, eh? All right, we're going to go on to our second card. I think we're making pretty good time here. And our second card, as promised, is using the um, Sweet Gingerbread Bundle, which I'm showcasing all week. Really, really love this bundle. All right, our card base tonight is Basic White. So no need for a card liner. And I've used something totally weird. Yes, I have. I've used soft suede for my matte layer. And I have cheated and embossed this with an, a retired snowflake folder. Sorry, folks, but I had to do it because this card has a snowflake theme. So I am going to put lots of adhesive on the back of this because it's heavily embossed and we are just going to center that up on our card front and hopefully get it straight it's not straight right now there we go give it a little wiggle Pop that into place. All right. This time I have a shiny red circle cut out of red glimmer paper. And I have our little gingerbread house. Now, all I did is I used, just used soft suede paper and I just cut the shape out, okay? And then what I did is I stamped in Versamark prior to the video, this little decorative edge in, um, and I heat embossed that in basic white, okay? That's the only decoration that's on there. We're gonna do the packing te tape technique on this one too. This is going to make our gingerbread house 
super, super shiny. How cool is that? And like I said, you could very easily cut this out with the dies. But I am just going to quickly trim this out with my snips. And make my house super shiny. Now it's going to be a little bit tricky around our chimney. But I am confident we can do it. And I had to do some testing because I'm going to be gluing elements onto this gingerbread and Tombow will not work for that technique when you're gluing on to packing tape so remember that if you're um, trying this yourself you cannot use or well, you can try but it's not going to work because I tried it last night um, and it just makes a hot mess so don't do it I knew I was going to have a little grief around this roof, but that's okay. We'll get it. There we go. One more little edge. And we're done. That one was a little more difficult, but not too bad. All right. So... We have a little roof, and I just die cut that out of, uh-oh, uh-oh, we are missing, let me check my, oh, it's still in the envelope here, down here in the corner, there we go. I pre-stamped two windows and fussy, or er, die, die cut them, and then I did the door and die cut that as well. So I am going to glue those onto our gingerbread house, but we need to use stamp and seal. It is the only way I can get this started would be helpful. There we go. that it will stick to the packing tape is with stamp and seal. I don't have stamp and seal plus so I don't know if that will work. Um, let's do the door first so that we know where to put the windows. I'm assuming that the seal plus would work but I don't know. Alright Centering my door at the bottom and then one window two windows and keep those in my comments. All right, now for our roof. Now, where all those little scallops are, we're going to make sure that we've got no adhesive there. And I'm going to put this on the mat. Sorry. It's a one-shot deal here. You can't lift it up, so maybe I'll do it this way. This might be smart. I can get it off my finger. Why don't I do it upside down? Like so. Oh, look at that. Bueno. All right. 
So we have our shiny, I should bring that up so you see it, shiny, shiny, shiny gingerbread house. And I took one of the wonderful snowflakes and I cut it in half, okay? These are super, super shiny too. So this is going to be fun. Now, I want to put dimensionals down the center of this glimmer paper. And why I want to stick to the center is because I'm going to tuck those snowflakes in underneath. Okay? So, we will... I'm going to bring this more center of the card with my dimensionals going down the center. And then... I am going to put some Tombow, I think, actually, I'm going to put some Tombow on the mat and get my glue sponge. That will allow me to put a little bit of glue everywhere on the back here. And then we'll tuck it in behind like that. How easy was that? The only thing when you're doing this with a glue sponge is you've got to make sure that one side of these snowflakes is paper and the other side is more, sh the shiny side is more plasticky. You've got to make sure your plastic side is not what you're gluing. Okay, there's that. Let's get the cover on that, get that out of the way. Cover on that, and get that out of the way. All right, we are ready to pop in our gingerbread house. I think we're gonna do that on dimensionals. And once again, super, super generous with the dimensionals. Oh, I got so much glue on my fingers, it's not funny. And the reason I'm doing that is because this is going on to... Um, I'm actually going to get a, a mini to put on here. This is going on to um, the glimmer paper. So the more adhesive I can get on there, the better it's going to be. You know what I mean? All right. Let's get rid of these backs. Off of there. One more. All right. Now we can pop that right in the center, like so. And then for my greeting, what I did is I just um, in Versa Mark I stamped the greeting. It says it's the most wonderful time of the year, and then I heat embossed that in white. And I'm just going to put that on mini dimensionals across the bottom. And that needs to be well supported because this is a long, skinny greeting. But I just stayed in the same soft suede tone. I didn't go crazy. I thought it had enough white. So that's why I heat embossed the greeting and stayed with the soft suede. And we're just going to pop that right down here at the bottom. Be helpful if we did it straight. There we go. Well, that looks better. 
All right, now we need to have what do you think? Red rhinestones, or is that going to be too much? I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to try it. Let's put one on here. I won't stick it too hard. And I'm going to strategically play. Oops, there's one stuck to my finger. I'm going to strategically place them on snow, the center of snowflakes in the background. I think this one needs to be moved. There, we're committed. What do you think of that glitzy one? Super, super shiny. My greeting is still crooked. There we go. That looks better. And this one's just plain on the inside. But of course, we have all that super shine from, from the packing tape, from the snowflakes, and from the glimmer paper. All right. That's that one. So that means I only have one thing left to show you. And this is a little 3D project that I was working on with this set. And it is so cute. Check this out. It's a little box that I made. And I've made this, put the cloud on. This is just folded cardstock so that I could tuck it in here. And there's room in there that you could put some candy or you could put um, some little gift, a little gift or whatever. Isn't that cute? And that's just made using this little um, gingerbread die cut. All right, so let's bring these ones back in. So there's our sweet gingerbread proje projects. And there are our sweet candy canes. It's been a pretty sweet night, ladies. <laughs> with our gingerbread and candy canes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I will be back Thursday at noon. And then next week it's Tuesday and Thursday at noon. And of course next Wednesday night at 6.30. I hope you guys can pop by and see me then. Alright, if you have any questions, give me a shout. And I hope you had fun tonight. Bye-bye for now.